Cancer. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me, Cancer. It's the Ten of Cups showing itself and I just got to show you here. This is just how it's going. The Six of Cups. Cancer. This isn't surprising at all. It's the Sun in Scorpio. Somebody is very nostalgic for you, wondering if they will ever see you again. You guys, look at this offering here. Here's the thing about the Six of Cups. You know, it can be that you've known this person for many years. It can also be that you just feel like you have. You know, it's just that feeling that you've met your person or it's someone that you just cannot stop thinking about somebody that's just you keep coming back to you know and for some of you this is twin flame energy it's not for everybody past life energy there's soulmate energy in here too you guys and it's the ten of cups it's a new cycle this is one of the most beautiful cards you know new beginnings and love but it can also be that this is hope for that it's really emotional they're flying here toward that stream. I mean, Cancer, you're a water sign. And we're already seeing, I mean, this is Pisces energy. This is Scorpio energy. Doesn't matter if they're in your family. They're in the element of water, of course. The love and the friendship. So this is somebody that you consider a friend as well. Cancer. All readings are timeless and meant for you when, when they find you. It's the Wheel of Fortune, you guys. The Six of Pentacles. The Death card in reverse, okay. Well, this is the Wheel of Fortune. It's the first placement. It's the Major Arcana. So things are changing here. We can see what's been going on. This is somebody who's been breadcrumbing not giving to this connection, giving to something else. And it's the death card in reverse. So this has left, I feel everybody, oh yeah, whoa, feeling really destroyed. Look, yeah, a lot of obstacles, challenges, maybe even some games. I don't love that, but it's there. This is where your person's energy is the strongest cancer. By the way, I don't know if I said anything. I'm confused. In case I didn't, in the link below is the tarotcloset.com. Also, all the playlists, all the cards that come in, okay? I think that's it. <laughs> Let's just get on with your reading today. Yeah, this is feeling really, really really, really destroyed that it's been so stuck, this connection that this person hasn't been giving here. There's obstacles. It's the very first placement. But I got to tell you, the Wheel of Fortune was the first card. And it's the Wheel of Fortune. There's the Six of Cups again. Yeah. So this is changing here, you guys. This is somebody who's really wanting to connect with you. And in a really, really emotional way. This is Cancer, someone who wants to tell you the truth. This is connected to the fifth chakra, speaking the truth. This is somebody who's been holding back their emotions for you that wants to open up. Whether you can or can't reconnect here, this is somebody who really wants to reconnect with you, Cancer. This is a new cycle. There's something going on in this connection that this person has been afraid to change, I'll tell you. These are fixed signs, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. They don't like change. They don't like change, you guys. But this is also someone you were fated to meet, you were destined to meet. This is a really deep soulmate connection. This is someone that you feel like, again, and we know this, it came back also in the Wheel of Fortune that you've known forever. There's just something about this person, whether you, you dated, whether you met, whether you didn't, whether you talk, 
whether you were even connected legally, whatever, or not, you know, common law, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's somebody that you just, you know that you were destined to meet. It. It's faded connection all around here, <laughs> quite literally. Look at this windmill. Hello if you're in the Netherlands, by the way. Yeah, I mean, it's going with the wind, you know, the wind of change. I'm hearing that scorpion song, scorpion song, which is really interesting because owls are Scorpios, which is funny to me because they're really detail oriented owls. I always think of them as Virgos, but they're Scorpios and we're under a Scorpio moon, by the way. Yeah, this is changing right now, you guys. This is somebody who's coming, I feel like, with the truth of how they feel about you, whatever that's going to mean. Whether it's someone you're dating, a twin flame energy, someone you were dating, whatever this is. Because this disconnect that's been going on and this lack of giving and the obstacles and the challenges that have been here have, I feel like, destroyed both of you. It's the death card in reverse. Of course, it's Scorpio energy. It's the theme, isn't it? And it's a 13. It's coming to a four. It's the four areas of support and stability, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. There's something here missing, and it's highly likely it's hiding emotions. It's Scorpio, you know? It's what they do. And... Well, yeah, it's in reverse. It's a stuck energy. It's For me, it's stuck emotional energy, and it's been, you know, yeah, it's destroying, really. It doesn't feel good at all. The Empress, it's the total opposite here. It's his Taurus energy. It's divine feminine energy, Gaia, Mother Earth. She has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, fire, the love, the friendship, clarity, commitment, passion, all of it. She can grow anything. And she's in the upright, so her resources are available here. What's coming through for me is it's somebody who's been holding back how they feel or not telling you the truth of how they feel because that also comes through in the Five of Wands. This connects us also to the Fifth Chakra. And it's the energy of love. It's the idea of love. It's the wands. It's the passion. So there's like... You know, somebody was, is, I feel like, I don't know if it's games or not, but maybe even speaking untruths, like hiding how they feel or just not telling you, which is the same thing. But this is the opposite. It's coming in and being honest. Is this in a message? What's going on? We need more. I wanted to see what's at the bottom of the deck. Look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the truth. It's the queen of swords, you guys. This is Libra ruled by Venus. Look at all the transformational butterflies. This is communication. It's clarity. It's the truth. It's the queen of swords. It's the total truth. It's total honesty here. And it might change everything. This is what they're wanting to bring in. I feel like it's also been repressing, oppressing, I should say, this person to hide such strong feelings. This is yours. Yeah, okay. I have to bring this in, you guys, and I'm going to show you what's here. It's just how it's going today. Because, well, this just doesn't surprise me at all. It's the devil in reverse. Interesting, because it was the exact same placement for Gemini. <laughs> And reverse as well. This is exactly what they want to bring in. What was what what went on? What did they hold back? What happened in this connection in this devil energy? Because you're both here. You're both in it, obviously. Look, your little mice here dangling. You're in it together. And it's in reverse in connection with the death card. So it's been really difficult. It's feeling stuck and destroyed over it and by whatever's going on here in the devil card energy. This is Capricorn energy, by the way, and also Saturn. You know, it's the planet of restriction. 
obstacles, life lessons, karma. And it's a six, it's healing, communicating, making peace, you guys, because this stuck feeling. And it's also here in the Six of Cups, it's super emotional. This is the truth. Look at this. This is the truth about why this person was not giving because look how they feel. And the Page of Cups is here too. So could this be an offer? Yeah. What kind of offer? It could even be a message here in this cup. You know, it's page energy. So it can sometimes be somebody who's not really sure. It can be younger too. It's not always the case. But just trying to figure out, you know, how to come. Like an apprentice, you know. But it's here. And it's kind of, well, yeah, I mean, it really does connect. Look at this. Because there's a real connection between you that's almost unexplainable, I want to say. It's just spiritual. I mean, well, yeah. It's a soul connection. It's a very spiritual connection. So this is what they think about, too. It's, it's innocent. It's kind of an innocence. I mean, this is not very innocent. The Queen of Swords needing to, to, to put her sword down and say, be honest. And the devil in reverse, what the heck happened? And the death card in reverse. I mean, I'm not saying this person is innocent. I don't know. But this energy of, of your connection is. Yeah, this is, this is staying here. And I'm going to move the energy, you guys. We're going to see what else wants to come through. Then we'll bring in another deck. It's the Knight of Pentacles. This person wants to come in here. Look, they know that's the sun, you guys. It's the source. It's co-creating. That's, they're wanting to get something across to you. The truth of how they feel. This is coming in emotionally available with the truth. The truth. What's in there? The truth. What's in here? The truth. It's nostalgic energy, too. And they're bringing something. It's the truth for me, you guys, about this. What happened? Why were they stuck? So this Wheel of Fortune can be just the change in that, you know, connecting again, because it can be good news coming in. I guess it's both of these. Yeah, it's the Eight of Wands. It's a message. Now it's with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is in reverse. So here's the thing. It's, you know, it's the fastest energy. And the Queen of Wands is really confident. A lot of sunflowers here connecting to the source, to the sun card, to the crown chakra, to knowing. It's in reverse here. So it's colder energy. And that's what we know has been going on. But that's what I feel changing. Oh, yeah, look what's here. You guys, it's super clear. There is that sun we just talked about, and we talked about it here, too. So this is, I want to say, overriding the Queen of Wands, but it is. It's the sun card. It's the Major Arcana. This is what's on their mind here. It's the outcome. It's getting the message across, literally. In the Eight of Wands. This is Mercury and Sagittarius energy. So what I wanted to say is it can be impulsive, you know, and it could be that this person was running hot and cold because it's kind of a spinner for me. And that's the thing, you know, they're, they're sure of what they want to say and then, that, then they're not, you know, because that's a lot. What's, what went on here that they need to talk about? Because they, they didn't like disconnecting either, Cancer. It's really super clear here. There might still be some obstacles, you know, the way that that's wanting to stay here. But the sun does override that. It just does. And here's the Eight of Wands, which we knew was coming. Mercury and Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the fastest energy, or fire energy, I should say. Mercury is the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. And 
it's really connected to reading and writing. So this is a message that somebody might have already written or they're trying to write to tell you how they feel and what happened and they're having a really hard time writing it. They wanna write it, they may have even written it. They wanna be honest with you and tell you. At the very least, just be honest with you because they owe you that. You guys are in the Six of Cups together and you've been through what together? Here in the Devil in Reverse. They want to at least tell you that and have even if it's resolution. They're having a hard time. It's hot and cold. There might be some other stuff going on in their life. I mean, we see the Six of Pentacles in reverse. But this Wheel of Fortune is spinning here. You know, and this is this is your your destinies are intertwined. They're wanting to just tell you something here and it's emotionally opening up. Look at this with the truth. And I feel like they're working on messages here. You know, sometimes hard at work, maybe even having sent them and then whatever, getting in the way, their ego, possibly something to do with the devil card. It's actually going to go here and this is yours. And this doesn't surprise me either <laughs> because this is wanting to show itself. And then we're going to bring in another deck cancer. It's Leo and it's the source again. It's the sun. Look how, look how they're connecting here. For some of you, this is your twin flame. I know that's not for everybody. There's also a lot of soulmate energy here, a deep soulmate connection, you guys. Yeah. Just trying to get the courage here. A lot of things come through with the strength card, okay? But today, what is loud and clear for me literally is this lion. Look at this, looking up at this owl. And it's a really interesting pair because owls are very loyal to their mate, to their uh, to their person, I should say. And everybody else is like is an enemy or prey. Look at that, the owl and the lion. So it can be that you're really different people. Opposite signs, whatever. Opposite sides of the world, cultural, religious differences, or just really different people here, you guys. Whatever the case may be, I feel like you kind of tamed this person or taught this person something, and they've, they want to share this with you because there's guilt. I'm feeling this guilt of what they held back, Cancer, from you. This is really emotional. This person, I'm feeling really overwhelmingly emotional and goosebumpy. This person feels really bad and guilty, wants to say a lot to you. And I almost <laughs> will want to intervene and say, yeah, but be careful. If you're coming in here with a message and then you're just going to fly off again. You know, it's nice. I feel like you need to hear this. You need to hear this from this person, how they really feel and what really happened. Because I feel like they left you hanging, you know, hot and cold, and then it just went cold. But this is, this is the Six of Cups energy. This is what's in their heart for you. They know. I mean, it's the sun energy too. Dampress, wanting to come here with the truth of how they feel, and the Queen of Swords, buddies, friends, right there, telling the, the Knight of Pentacles, get to work, get Cancer's person writing this message, look, like I said, I feel like they've been trying to, have you seen any messages, have you communicated? You might still, because, yeah, I, the way that this lion is looking up at the owl, I've just been told is how, how they look, it's, a, it's a sentimental feeling of how they feel about you, that they just haven't, yeah, I don't even think you know this. Do you even know this? Do you know how much this person how big their feelings are, all the emotions around you. They're grateful. I'm hearing that they're grateful. I don't know what that means. I guess grateful. If you helped them or you showed them something, you taught them about love. And then feelings which were flowing at one point, but then they ultimately 
hid because it was too much for them. But it's been brutal for everybody, but for them more than, th than you realize. This <laughs> page of cups right now is making me feel really melancholy because it's sort of like, I don't know why, but just looking here, almost catatonic kind of saying, almost like you get all dressed up, you know, and he's standing here in the branch, the owl, I should say, on the branch, just going, you know, all dressed up and no place to go. Do you know what I mean? For some of you, there is distance and there's other other connections involved. It's not for everybody. But it's like staring off and reminiscing here too and thinking. I mean, they're really connected, you guys, about what they didn't do, what they could do. Will you even listen? Will you be there? Cancer. I'm going to bring in some love messages, you guys. Messages from their higher self. Then we're going to close your reading, okay? What do you want to say to your cancer? No matter where I go, I always find my way back to you. That's the Six of Cups. what's going on with your connection because it's really overwhelming me <laughs> is this <laughs> is this Scorpio moon or what my gosh if nothing lasts forever can I be your nothing your voice is my favorite sound I was just told hold on that I need to bring in another deck and this was sitting here. This is the Queen of Cups. It's in German, by the way, Cancer. I'm in Austria, as you know. It's one of my decks that I use with my clients here. Cancer, this is your energy. <sighs> okay. The Ten of Cups is in reverse here. Mars and Pisces energy. So somebody could be going through broken connection, marriage, family trouble, but this is also making me really sad because this maybe was something you were in or planning that got affected. That just wanted to show itself. I feel like this is why Spirit had me pick up the deck. It's the Queen of Cups. This is your energy, of course. Neptune energy too. It's a dreamy energy, you guys. It's escaping and thinking about it. It's fantasy and illusion, you know? It's connecting right here with the Six of Cups. You guys didn't really get to heal. I feel like nobody's really healed. That's the, the Death card in reverse. It's also the Devil card. And even if it's just a little conversation or a message, you know. I need to bring in another one. I don't know why, but, but I do. Okay, I want to show you. It's the strength card again. Where did the strength card go? There it is. It's in reverse. There's that infinity symbol again. This is somebody who was sabotaging it. They're coming here with the truth regarding that. You guys, and they want to end this. This is really emotional cancer. It's the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is healing. It's relief from this, I feel kind of torment in the death in reverse. This feeling destroyed of not, of what the heck happened. It's some relief. It's some healing coming. I guess that's why this needed to happen. I was, I was going to bring in another deck and then I just kind of, I don't know, I guess I forgot. Spirit won't let me forget. It's the Nine of Swords in reverse. It's Gemini and Mars. And Gemini is all about communication. They were stuck, but it's in reverse, you guys. And it's Mars. It's the planet of action. Conflicting energy, but also clarity. 
And this is recovering and healing. It's relief from the torment of not knowing the separation. It's getting some... I mean, could it be more? Yeah, I feel like this is some resolution or some healing. Emotional, huge. I mean, I feel it on a level that probably happens really often most with you, I have to say, in Capricorn. Not a lot <laughs> of people, not a lot of signs do this to me. My pride and ego got in the way. I think that's it for there. This is yours for sure. You make me forget how to breathe. It's been a very breathless day, you guys. All I have ever wanted is to have you for life. It's more Six of Cups energy. Also the Wheel of Fortune. It's the good news coming in. It's the Eight of Wands, you guys. Very passionate look holding on to that wand. Flying over the desert, you know, coming out of that. Also for this person. Flying away from this death card in reverse energy from the Nine of Swords. Because they want relief too, you know. No matter what has happened, no matter what you've done, no matter what you will do, I will always love you. I want to be your favorite hello and your hardest goodbye. Whoa, you guys, it's way too many, but this flipped down. You are the pillar of my life. Brings in cancer, doesn't it? The high priestess. Hurting you hurt me even more. I love you every step of the way. Okay, this is the last one. Then we're going to bring in some little ones and close your reading, Cancer. We have been through every up and down together. That's the devil card in reverse. What did you guys go through? What do you want to say to your Cancer? Please don't make me cry anymore. <laughs> It's a Scorpio moon, full moon. I can't handle it. No more, please. I am waking up. Yeah, it's it's true. It's they're wanting to heal with you. You know, conversation, the truth. I received your telepathic messages. Well, that's not surprising. You're Cancer, you're the High Priestess, and you're the Queen of Cups. My world changed when I met you. You changed this person, Cancer, as you often do. You make an impact, an emotional impact that sometimes is overwhelming for people that aren't used to that, you know? And it hits them later, which is happening with this person. I mean, they looked a little, they look a little freaked out. <laughs> It's a lot. You've got a lot of big, beautiful emotions, Cancer. You are my biggest wish. That's this energy for me. It's, you know, this strength card, this particular card. I feel your energy. Will you wait for me? I kind of feel like it's over here. I'm waiting for the right time. Okay, Cancer, I think that's it. Hi, Cancer. That drives me crazy when that happens. I don't know where it stopped. My world changed when I met you. You changed this person's life for sure. I feel your energy. I'm waiting for the right time. And these are the last two. We got I received your telepathic messages. Look, I am sending you telepathic messages. So you guys are communicating. 
energetically. This doesn't surprise me at all. It's the Six of Cups energy. It's a lot of it. It's the Lover's Card energy for me. It's the Two of Cups. It's also the Wheel of Fortune. It's a deep soulmate connection, you guys. I feel your energy. There's a lot of telepathic messages. And look what the last card is. You are my other half. That's what they know here. And there's a piece in knowing that, but it's not enough, you know? Cancer, I have to go before I cry anymore. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here, you guys. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed your reading, I would really be grateful if you could boop the like button. Boop. <laughs> Hoo-hoo. Howl. What is that? Hooting. Hoot the like button. That's so silly. Okay. I'm being silly. Anyway, I would be really grateful. And please subscribe if you haven't. Share the reading or any reading if you feel the inspiration to do so. If you know people who might enjoy my work. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you know when readings are coming that might interest you. And when I'm going live, which... We're still working out. There's kind of a lot going on here behind the scenes, guys, at the tarot closet. And yeah, but that will be happening soon. I'm sending you love and light. So much love and light. Have a beautiful day. Get through Mercury retrograde. <laughs> and this full moon in Scorpio intact. I know you can do it. Take good care of yourself. And I look forward to seeing you at another reading, Cancer. Bye for now.